Hey, what's up? My name's Jackson Strong. I'm 21 years old from Lockhart, Australia. I spoke with Rockstar Energy Drink about my plans to, to try and ride a snowmobile and they pretty much got behind me and said, you know, if you want to do this, we'll help you out. They went and bought me a brand new snowmobile. Then teamed up with John Getter and another friend from Crossy Tour, me and Jimmy Blaze, and got to work. Started jumping the sled. Took a little bit to get used to it at first. It's just crazy, you know, not having any gears. The thing's fully automatic, so judging the distances of jumps and things, I've got to do it by my surroundings and not by the sound of the engine of my dirt bike, how I normally do it. Uh, there's no wheels, so it just doesn't work the same as anything with wheels. And uh, three times the weight of a dirt bike, which is not going to be fun when it's chasing me down a landing. <laughs> I think X Games for anyone who's associated with the action sports industry is just the pinnacle, it's the place to be. So growing up as a as a kid, riding dirt bikes, eventually making it to summer X Games, getting two gold medals, I feel like there's something a little little more out there for me and I really respect what Brian Deegan and Ox did in the past getting medals at Winter X Games as well. So I just want to try and do that, follow in their footsteps a little bit and, and just uh, I don't know, see a new exciting world. Jumping in the foam pit yesterday was an absolute mission. The tarp was covered in ice. We had to chip off massive like 130 pound blocks of ice to get the cover off the pit and then fluff all the foam up and it was all super icy and cold and hard in there. So something I don't want to have to do again. I think one more foam pit session the day before I leave for X Games and I'm going to be good. Yesterday in the foam pit I got a little carried away. I uh, got my top secret trick down on the snowmobile and then got a little excited and thought it might be a good idea to try and do a flip and uh, pretty much came into the ramp and tried to flip the snowmobile exactly how I'd flip my dirt bike and it did not go to plan at all. Oh shit. I tried to flip on the snowmobile, I came in, did everything exactly the same as what I would do on my dirt bike. And as soon as I left that ramp and my hands blew off the handlebars, it's the first time I've been a little worried for my life in a, in a, I think a good couple of months, maybe even years. In my dirt bike world, I'm lucky enough to have Charles Dow as my trainer and he's helped me out so much over the years, teaching me training techniques and things like that and just keeping me fit, training me every day and just pushing me. You know, working with Jack now for, uh, shoot, a little over two years and both years going to Summer X coming out on top with gold medals has been awesome. And to be part of that has is, is been very exciting for him to come in here and get mentally tough and, uh, you know, not only that, it's, it's 
kind of tapping into that aggression and to go out there and just be a complete beast has been something that we've been able to tap into. He likes to get nasty with it. He's willing to go ahead and give it everything he's got, break a leg, come back, and uh, come back stronger. Winter X Games around the corner. I'm attempting a trick that's never been done on a snowmobile. I just want to bring something new to the sport and have pretty much have some fun at Aspen, so check it out.